on today's episode of Moto Cheese. What kind of bike do you have? Dang! You got shocks, pegs, lucky. <laughs> Gizmo likes wandering off the property, so we'll go get him. You don't belong over here, kitty. Are you doing it for an excuse to ride the bike? You like riding a bike, don't you? Did I get to get a little basket for you? You stay on our side. Jeez, anything to get a bike ride, huh, Gizmo? To get into the advanced settings menu, hold the up and down button, and then you will see your number, P, and your variable. You click this upper right button to select, and then you use your up and down to adjust. Zero one is brightness, and then when you're set, you push this again upper right button and you have two three four five six seven eight you want to raise your max speed and raise that up as high as it'll go nine ten 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 is your maximum current amperage, which was set at 20. I set mine to 40 because it claims to do 40 amps. 15, 16, 17, 18, and that's it. Then you hold your power button once everything is set to shut it off. And then turn it back on. Turn on as normal, and all your settings will be saved. Let's take a ride to Seven Mile Loop in Crystal River. And we're off to the Seven Mile Loop in Crystal River. Hope this mic sounds better. I guess we'll keep it dual motors the whole time. Unless I think I'm going to run out of battery to way home. Big tires do work great in the sand, and having that dual drive, man, it really helps pulling that front wheel. Another trail system in there too. It's pretty small though. Seven mile loop, trailhead and parking. Huh. Which way should we go? No horses allowed. Hmm. clockwise route silly me I thought that left gate was a way to go in to go clockwise oh my gosh oh I thought you heard me <laughs> I didn't want to scare you they did they did turn around and look yeah <laughs> Put in 
two wheel. Oh, got a little mud thrown on me. Good thing we had it in all wheel drive. Needlefish in there. Oh, there's a crab right there. Blue claw. He's like, come at me, bro. Let's see what's on this side. First critter. I don't know what they are. Oh, there's a big, looks like a bass or something there. Should have brought my fishing pole. <laughs> I don't think it's allowed. It's like a good spot for a photo op, huh? See what else we can find. first so I can max out at 10 gotta enjoy the scenery boys uh, this all must be from when it when we had the flooding a month ago. Some big needle fish in there. There's a bunch of needle fish. Do they turn into gar or are they just needle fish? Hmm. It's a two mile mark back there. All-wheel drive, baby. I kicked it up to number two, PAS. Staff road only. Four mile mark and ruts. Oh, I'm lost. I think that's a loop trail. Where does this go then? Now I'll take the one on the left here. Looks like just an extra loop. <clears throat> oh no. Huh. Staff road only. Well, I guess that settles that. Sneak by. I don't want to scare you. <laughs> Sneaking by. How are you? Hey, sneaking by. 
by. Oh, I got battery power. You don't want to race. <laughs> What's that? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, they are. They're blast. So you can pedal and exercise, and then when you want to go, you just hit the gas. Right. <laughs> I like being lazy. <laughs> 5.5 mile mark. Okay, I had to pedal to make it look good. All right. Hmm. What is that way then? Guess we'll go look and see what this is. Three bars out of five. And we are. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> 31, so that's about 16 miles. Excuse me. It's so quiet, I know, right? <laughs> you know, when you see people, you gotta put on a show and pedal. How'd I do that? Oh, uh, I see. Oh well. You get lost in here. It got lost already. <laughs> I thought I stayed on the loop. How could I not be? I'm going to have to look. When I stop again here. Alright, then this is where I turned right. Or no, I didn't turn right. That's weird, I got turned around like that. And I have a pretty good sense of direction. I'm not, not. I thought it split, but it doesn't. It just loops. Because there's two entrances out here. So that's what fouls me up, I guess. I was going around a loop again. Silly cheesy. Yeah, I remember all that. Hey, you just beat me. I took a wrong turn back there. <laughs> yesterday almost 20 miles well, hopefully we make it ah oh, darn it burned out and everything didn't make it I'm not gonna trip this light oh I know how I can do it I'm going for it. Oh, they're coming along in there too. Hey, are they open? I'm going to take a ride around that. This is the new RV park. Pretty neat. I guess that section's not open yet. That's an e-bike.
was John. I thought that was you. I'll let you go first. I'll race you. <laughs> race you. I'll beat you. <laughs> Still got a bar left. That's like 23, 24 miles. I'll beat him. I'm going to take the power line and beat him. Cranking through the sand. Let's see how it works. Batteries flashing, 41.4 miles, I think it was 14 when we started, and it was 2 hours and 30 minutes. Put her back on charge, I like it, I like it a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how this light works in the dark. Power it up, dim it down, wow. Not bad. Turn her up to five. That's pretty bright. I don't know if this camera is going to do it any justice. This does do excellent in the sand, being two-wheel drive and all. Best headlight on any bike I've had yet. Take the Chizo trails. It's old boat still for sale if you want it. Hope there's no varmints out tonight. Pretty good sand hill over here. Ain't nothing for this bike. Wish I had more hills to try it out on. But I am in Florida. I'm definitely impressed with this headlight. Good night, Irene. If this bike seems too tall for you, I'm 5'10". And I'm almost tippy toed and that's as far down as this shaft will let you go because it has a little kink here but you can cut this much off the bottom of this stem if you want to get it lower 5 foot 10 is a good height for this bike but you can actually take 3 inches off that seat height if you're shorter So now for my impressions on this bike, I think it's a pretty good deal for 1300 and change for a dual motor drive. I got it up to 33 miles an hour on the flats. The battery did last a real long time considering I was using dual motor mode most of the time. I did not hardly do any pedal assist. If you did pedal assist you would pretty much increase your range almost double. The bike is built well. 
performance was very good I think they're 1000 watt peak motors which is still good the brakes were excellent I say for the money it's a win I like it <laughs> gotta love it hey don't forget to like comment and subscribe we'd love to hear what you have to say Hit that bell if you want new notifications on new videos. Links for products to use are in the description and on MotoCheese.com. Thanks for watching.